We play and call it work. Mini Wargamer Dave here from MiniWargamer.com. Welcome Wargamers to a bunker update video in the truck right now because it's incredibly cold and windy outside. And I wanted to make it so you can hear what I'm saying because it would be like and so that's not good for business. Plus, uh, there's a lot of like commotion on the street and but we're just gonna jump inside. I wasn't actually gonna make one of these before because it's very close to the end. It's super close. The walls are up, everything, like electrical, HVAC, plumbing, like it's all done. Right now it's just finishing touches and flooring. So it's, it's so close. It's like showing you a model and it, all it needs is highlights. And it's like, here, here's the model. And you're like, well, that's, that's good. It could use some highlights. And so that's what, that was the, to uh, I was torn. I didn't want to exactly show it to you in that state, but you know what? Here's the reason why I changed my mind. I changed my mind because none of the aesthetics are up. So it's like, that will be a world of a difference between now and then. Plus, there's been a lot of people asking about it. So I just, okay, fine. I caved in. I, this is me caving and showing you this. So let's jump right in and enjoy. This time we're gonna go through the back door because never showed you from this way before. Heading, uh, downstairs first. Constant work going on. There will be construction workers everywhere. Gentlemen. How's it going? Good. So we got the weight room in there. And then here. Looks like some lights are being installed. Excellent. And then in here is uh, the workshop. This is where Lee will be working. It's a little dark right now. Let's, let's go over this way. Janitorial closet. That's right, for all the janitors that we're storing and one of the six studios. Okay. There are some leakages because of old foundational cracks, and so we're having those repaired, obviously, before the panels go up, because that'd be a nightmare to try to fix it after the fact. So a couple different schools of thought there. There's the injection cement repair. Actually, hold on. Let's uh, take you through here first. This will be dark as well, but just to give you an idea. This room is also finished and storage, it will be used for storage because we have a lot of models and terrain and tables and mats and all of that. This is the spillover storage. The storage, immediate storage, will go outside of the studios. More storage down there, that's fine. And so these are the studios. I mean, they're incredibly dark right now, but the walls are up. And they're actually, just for fun, let's see if this works. I'll get my cell phone out and we'll see. See what you can see. Might be able to see something there. So this represents one of six. It's very dark. Is it very dark? Oh, yeah. yeah. I can see your phone. See my phone? That's it? Okay. So we'll go over here where it's lighter. You know, ironically, it's lighter in the, at nighttime when I come here because the lights are on. But they're probably doing it, they are for sure doing electrical because those were the electricians down there. So it's probably why the lights were off here. Hi. Gentlemen, this is the cafeteria. And we're gonna have vending machines, tables, counter fridge sink against this wall right here that you're looking at there's going to be a big map of the world before it was going to go upstairs but this is a much bigger wall and it's going to be framed in decoratively with bolts around and you put your pin in when you come and visit to represent your area of the world and just to show the uh, the visitors if you're done before you leave okay awesome okay. 
Awesome. Uh, we'll probably Scope be upstairs. Okay, sounds good. Hallway leading upstairs. The wall is also aesthetic with these, um, these are uh, tap cons. And so they stick out from the wall on purpose just to make it look like a sheet of metal once it's painted up. So that's on both sides. And then that leads down to the escape rooms, which I won't show you right now. Coming over this way, we have the bathroom. We are in a hallway right now, so this is a public bathroom for people in the store, people in the studio, whatever. So this is a bathroom. This is the store. This is Max Aggression Gaming. Dan Beatty will be in here. In fact, I'm meeting with him this coming Wednesday to figure out where shelving and storage and stuff is going to go in the store. So that's exciting. So Dan, if you're watching this, we're going to have fun on Wednesday. So it's all painted up, it's done, it's prepared. Some more lights need to go on. And that's storage storage for the store. So Dan has that space to put all his warehouse items. This is a new side entrance right here. This is the one that was cut into the side of the building as per fire code. So when you come and visit Mini Wargaming Studios, you'll park in this parking lot and come through this door. Because if it's in the morning, the store won't be open. It won't be at the front of the building. It'll be at the side. It's going to be a sign on the outside, so everything will be clear. When you walk in against that wall, there will be a sign, Mini Wargaming, a big sign that says Mini Wargaming. There's also going to be other smaller signs, directional signs, studios downstairs, store that way, offices this way, tournament hall that way. So signage will be here. So continuing up this way. The reason why there's MDF on the walls is because the walls themselves in the hallway will be decorated to make it look like you're inside an Imperium building of some sort. So the seams, just as an example here, the seams in between the, the sheets of MDF will have battens or strips that go, to go all the way up and down with bolts lining it. In here is the employee lounge. So in there, this is my office. That's the Shrine of Chaos. And this is Matt's office. Matt got the window because he likes to have plants. I chose the office without a window because I like to make videos in my office and control the lighting more. So we both got what we wanted. It's perfect. And this is the employee lounge. So out here will be the content producers and their workstations and tables set up for painting midis, minis, so when you're coming to visit, you can kick up your feet, relax, paint your minis in between filming, sit on couches, read some black library novels, whatever you want. And that's, that's here, that's the space. I've also gotten the construction crew to build shelves all the way along the walls here. So they're gonna go about here and end about there. It's gonna be three shelves, plus the shelf in the very top for stuff, because if you've seen the open vaults, you've seen the spillage of the stuff and the things over desks and areas and workspaces at current mini wargaming, because there just isn't enough space. So this was a, one of those preemptive things to help mitigate all the, the clutter and mess. And the same goes for my office and Matt's office, and actually all of the offices in this place. This is gonna be the editing suite. So Rob and Cullen will go in here. And this is connected to the employee lounge, also connected to Aaron's space, the shipping and receiving, which is right next door. And again, with the shelves going up here, because they as well, Rob and Colin, have stuff. They have miniatures, they have books, they have items and war gear and weapons. This is Aaron's space, shipping and receiving, connected to the hallway on purpose. Obviously, it's not done, they still got to do more work. But this is the hallway, so it's efficient. 
connects to the hallway and it connects through there as well. The reason why Rob's editing area has two doors is because in case he's editing things that can't be seen by everyone, there's some uh, doors. So this might seem like a small thing, but seeing the ceiling done, the lights and the ceiling tiles and the, the battens and the strips is very exciting for me because that's one of those finishing details where it's, you know it's getting close. Same with the wall. Like once these strips are on and the bolts are on, then it just needs paint and then it's done. Going over here. This is where Josh and Mike are going. There's, as well, there's gonna be shelves that go across there for them. Especially for Mike. Mike gets a lot of shipments in of models and terrain and miniatures and stuff. So he needs a good amount of storage. This is going to be Chris's studio. We're gonna put some padding on the walls for sound purposes. Not because he's crazy, but because of sound. I thought it was because of crazy. You thought it was because of crazy? That up there, I've instructed the construction workers to make a vent going out. There's already a hole, exterior hole to the building because of his airbrushing, so it can just go straight out. Worked out perfectly. Plus the location of this room is the farthest it can be away from the employee lounge and all of the noise because Rob is next door editing. Rob and Colin are both next door, but they have headphones. So not much noise, if, if anything, through a wall. And then Erin is kitty corner, but she's not noisy. And then Rob, or Rob, uh, Chris, no, come on, S skip, Grandpa psychic, Grandpa, ah! uh, Josh and Mike, Josh and Mike, they're not loud, right? They, if they're working, they're emailing, whatever, they're like, they're not loud. And so that's why Chris is here. Because at the current place, I'm sure uh, Chris can attest to this, there's been many a time when right outside his door, it's been too noisy for recording purposes, and so... That's when, um, that's, that's when the exercise of patience comes in. And so th that's why it was done uh, by design for Chris to be here. It was the best place in this entire building, actually, this room. This might be a little noisy. There's going to be some saws working, but this is going to be awesome. I'm going to show you the tournament room. They are right in the middle of it right now, but you'll see a very good visual of the walls. This needs very little words. You're seeing a bit of the flesh go on the bones. It's exciting. Lots of cuts. Lots of exact measuring. Lots of routering. Creating jigs. Extremely exciting. These here will have bolts going all around and going up and down the strips. Bolts lining these areas to make it look like they're two sheets of metal that are meeting in the middle. These archways. These are basically blank canvases for heraldry and banners to go up afterwards. So, uh, hint, hint. If you would like your icon represented in here, there is space available for that. There's, uh, let's see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six. Looks like there's six. So when I came here, was it yesterday? Either yesterday or the day before, this wall, there was stuff against the wall. The fact that there is nothing against this wall means that they are starting on this wall, which is very exciting. They already put the base layer of MDF on, but this back wall is the massive cargo bay door that you'll see. When you first walk in from over there, you see that at the end of the room. It's big, it spans the majority of the wall, it's large, and it's impressive and imposing. You're good. You're good. Over here, this is one of my 
favorite areas. Just to show you this corner. Because this corner is unique. Like looking at the corner, you have all this stuff happening. So this is all part of the aesthetic. This is great. I'll get out of the way so you can see it. And that leads back downstairs, back to the storage area and the workshops. But just this area right here is a, it's, it's, it's a fun corner. A lot of detail, a lot of stuff happening. Once it's all painted up and the, the bolts and the rivets are on, it's going to be that much better. And then the ceiling. The ceiling is going to be kept exposed. It's going to be painted black so it all matches, it's all cohesive. But the reason why I wanted it exposed was because of the nature of the room itself. All of this stuff actually fits the aesthetic of the room. Having all this piping and wires and units, all those HVAC units, actually helps to establish what this room is, which is like a cargo bay type of storage, manufactorum type of room. So it just worked out well. Plus the higher ceilings worked out better. Makes it feel like it's bigger, which it's already a big room, but it's just that much bigger. Because otherwise the ceilings would have been about a foot lower than what they are right now. Plus it saves on cost. We don't have to install all that extra ceiling. Now it's time to go up upstairs to show you the bunk rooms because there's a lot of progress up there too. So watch your step there. This is actually a good place to start showing you. The aesthetics start here. So you're looking at all these strips. They all have bolts in them. They all represent the hallway. It's actually very similar to downstairs. Strips everywhere, or battens. Bolts everywhere. This is an imperial building. Coming in here, this is the uh, imperial officer suite. Hello. Hey, Ken. How's it going? Good. How you doing? Good. As you can see, the, uh, the borders and the battens, it's all, it's all up. So what needs to go on now are the bolts lining all of the battens that you see. So the framing around the windows, the, uh, the crown molding, the, uh, the corners, they all have bolts that are going to go into them. There's a lot of bolts in the 41st millennium. Like, there's just a ton everywhere. And so that's why there's bolts going around everywhere. And so actually, oh, I got I to gotta show you this. Picture that wall. No, you're good. You're good. This wall right here, it's going to have something on it, OK? In fact, leave a comment below for what you think should go here. I have ideas, but I just want to see what you guys say. What should go right here, OK? Also, there's a queen bed going in here. There's a bunk bed going in here. There's a gaming table going in here. So you'll have your own private gaming table when you are here, staying in this room. This you'll have access to your own stuff. Should you want to play into the wee hours of the morning, you can. Especially if you're coming with a, a b bunch of buddies or something. You know, like There's a bunch of you and you're here. You have that option. Also has the best view. Making our way over here. This will be the Space Wolves room. So just picture uh, masonry on the wall. It's going to be stonework, actual stonework. I'm getting my dad to do it. He is a mason. He's been doing, he's retired, but he is, uh, he's as sharp as he ever was and he's able to do it in his sleep. So 
he's going to be doing this in here. Plus, he's Nordic, so how appropriate is that, that a space wolf Viking is doing this rune? And picture pelts and banners on the walls just to make you feel at home. It's like cold and warm and cozy at the same time. That's what this is going to be. Here's the bathroom for this room. They all have their own bathrooms, by the way. Obviously not finished. Flooring has to go in first. But right here, it's connected. Making our way over here. This will be the orc room. This, my thought is to transport or transplant, rather, all of the stuff in the current Orc studio in here because it's fantastic. I love the aesthetic of the studio, and it would be a shame just to throw it all away because there was a lot of work that went into it in the first place. So this is going to be the Orc room. So for you Orc players, picture yourself staying in your own mech shop and uh, being in heaven, in Orc heaven, wherever that is. And that's, that's here. Your own bathroom as well. This one, actually, uh, you have your own... Uh, Tub shower area, large, biggish. Then in here, this will be a more Age of Sigmar fantasy themed room. The reason why that's painted black is because half of it is going to be wood, the other half is going to be stone. So the lower half will be stone. This will be strips of board, actual wood. So in case you see in between the the, the cracks, you don't see white wall, you see black in behind, so you see a nice shadow. Um, and that's, and my dad is also doing the, uh, the bottom portion of this room as well. Because of the layout, for some reason this bathroom is uh, um, oddly large compared to the size of the room. It actually feels like it's another half of the room in here. It's uh, significant in its size. Oh yeah. It's big. Nice. Yeah, so it's good. And then, to show you the Imperial Guard barracks. So the barracks has its own bathroom, which is detached, so that the barracks could be bigger. So that's its own bathroom there. This is a fire escape right out there. Oh, yes. And this is the barracks. And so there's going to be a number of bunks in here. There's going to be a gaming table, couch, chairs, a wall of board games, TV, mini fridge, microwave. This is here. This is like a lounge. So this is like a hybrid room where you have lots of options. You can, you can hang out in the room and sleep in the room, or you can hang out in the room if you're not sleeping in the room, but you still have a hangout place to go after hours if no one else is staying in the room. People staying in the room, obviously, they have dibs on the, on the lounge area. But what you're seeing around the walls here is uh, a work of efficiency because you can see these strips going along here and you see the battens going up and down plus the baseboard. There's going to be bolts that go all the way around and I, I see they've already pilot holed everything which is fantastic and they've made it so it's right in the middle of the, of the batten so my OCD is, is, is good so that's fantastic. And even here in the light switch, see? There's a block there, which is perfect. Now in the wall itself, there's going to be bolts that stick out of the wall and go around the top. So once it's all painted, kind of like how you guys saw downstairs with the tap cons that came out, it's like that. It, it'll be um, above, it'll be surface mounted above the, the wall. And so once it's all painted, it'll look like they are riveted sheets of metal that go over top. And that's all the way around. In addition to that baseline aesthetic, there are also going to be propaganda posters everywhere all around because that's Imperial Guard and I got Kurt Metz to illustrate those for me. I already have them in stockpile so it's just a matter of when this room is done getting them printed out putting them on the walls. And this one we're thinking three bunks in here so six guys can stay, six people can stay in this room comfortably. Technically we can fit more but we want to also have it as a lounge so to give us the option. And that is this room. It's a good size room. Originally, where you're standing right now, Chris, yep. 
that was originally going to be the bathroom. So the reason why I had construction crew moving out there is because this is where the wall was going to go. So just picture the room this much smaller, right? That's a good third of the room around there. So it would just be cut right into the room. Plus, it's like, you know, like bathrooms right here. And then picture a lounge and you're right there in the bathroom. I, I don't know. It's just, it's better this way. Yeah, more space. You know, that was, that was going to be a kind of a closet area anyway. So it's, it's just better. Is it going to be like army style bunk beds? You mean like, like true army style bunk beds? Yeah. I was looking on some yeah. websites and looking at those, those bunks. And, and so there's, there's options. We'll see exactly. What, when it comes to the time when they come in, we'll, they will be what they will be. But uh, what do you guys think? What do you think they should be? Before we purchase them, what do you think the, the, what would you expect to sleep in Imperial Guard barracks room? So it's very close. And percentage wise, I don't know where you would put the percentage wise. 85, something like that. It is, it is darn close. And it, it is exciting. So walking back out here. Oh. After you. I'll see you in a minute, okay? Yeah. Okay. All right, hopefully it's not too noisy. Thank you very much, Wargamers, for tuning in to this bunker update. Make sure to watch more videos in this series because there will be more updates, obviously, because this is the whole series of showing off the bunker, the new project, the new mini Wargaming headquarters, the new area in which we will occupy and dominate this space. We're staking our claim, this area of the city, and we're gonna put our banner really up high so everyone can see it, including everyone in the apartment building across the street. There's, they won't have a choice. That's a joke, no, that's, that's against the bylaw. I actually wanted to. I wanted to put a massive die cube on the ceiling or on the, on, the, on the roof, but apparently there's a bylaw where you can't do that. So if there wasn't, there would be, because that would be awesome. But we aren't Niagara Falls, because they have that stuff on those buildings and it kind of, it fits because it's touristy. So we're gonna try to make this place a touristy place by having this building here. So thank you very much. Happy Wargaming. We'll see you in the next update.